Hey YouTube, it's Korosh1990, and today I have a new addition to the stuff I'll be opening on my channel. Um, it's a game I know absolutely nothing about outside of the fact it was made to be incredibly easy to learn for like a younger audience, basically, for card games. And I wanted to pick up some stuff for this game before it starts getting expensive. And I've I've had my eye on these sealed products for a while, and I've noticed the Booster boxes in particular are starting to go up in price. They, they're they roughly like 20 bucks a box. Now they're up to like 70 or 80. This is not a booster box. This is a sealed thing of uh, starter decks. Um, I don't know if these are all the same. Kind of hoping they're not, but I, it says pre-constructed on there. So they, there's a good chance that all of these are the same. Either case, I don't really care. I got this for like 10 bucks, so... Yeah, I got pretty lucky with where I got this from. So I figured I can't afford not to get it. It looks awesome, to say the least, and I'll add it to my uh, collection of boxes for old games that I have. I was typically trying to stay away from, like, Star Wars or Harry Potter or Star Trek for my channel just because the IPs tend to bring in some very opinionated people on things. And on my old channel, I was getting spammed quite a bit, especially for the Harry Potter stuff that I had. It was actually one of the reasons why I deleted that channel and started this one. But, I, you know, got it for 10 bucks. Can't afford not to do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just crack this open. We're going to open probably like two of these decks today. And that'll, that'll give me a pretty good estimate on if they're all the same or not. I mean, it'll give me the best estimate if they're the same or not, I guess. But, uh... That way, if they are all the same, I don't need to open all of them. And I'll just keep the rest of them sealed. Because it is kind of cool just having this huge brick of starters. I did get a bunch of other Young Jedi stuff too. Um, I bought a booster box of the Premier Enhanced Edition. Which I know for a fact, they have like booster packs in them. Along with like these like promo cards. So, yeah. I've seen a couple of these cards... And I know they uh, do not look the best. Okay, where's the little tab thingy? Yeah, they, they don't particularly look the best, which is why I think this game did not really do all that well. I don't know how many sets there were. Probably like three or four sets or something. I, uh, I want to say this is probably the first or second one. This is the like Darth Maul Menace one. Holy crap, if I could open this up, that'd be great. There we go. So, yeah. Good grief. All right, there we go. Is that a cool looking box though? I mean, everyone loves Darth Maul, so. Yeah, yeah, Menace to Darth Maul, yeah. And uh, what the heck is this? Young Jedi points, save this box flap. Huh. I'll have to do more research into that. I have no clue what that is. Uh, and there's just like straight up cards in here. <laughs> They're not like wrapped or anything at all. That's funny. And you get the uh, the awesome little rules book. I love these little books for these old games. Part of me wishes games still did that, even though it's like a huge waste of paper. And uh, yeah, we'll just go through this, I guess. I'm also changing up where I do my videos. I noticed previously there would be this moment where there'd be like a huge glare on the cards. And so I had to hold them like really awkwardly. This seems to be a better, clearer place for me to record. Anyway, we've got a good old Obi-Wan Kenobi here. And uh, what the... These is like... Yeah, they're all the stills from the movie. What is it, like a pod racing? Yeah, pod racing arena. Huh. It, huh, interesting. It's a random... Just a, just a random Jawa. Look at him. And then some blasters. Yeah, they're all like... Organized. It's like the same cards back to back. A lot of the same cards. I'm probably going to guess these starters are all the same. But I can't complain. I literally got all of this for 10 bucks, Plus some shipping. But still, like, I can throw $10 on a game I don't know anything about and, like, make a gamble on it. Some more pot race. Man, I can't. There it is. It's like that. And then, oh, Darth Maul looking all creepy and emo and stuff. So is this, there's two, two customized 30 card starter decks. Okay, so you get a light side deck and a dark side. Uh, oh, 
wow, they really make it easy for you to determine what's good and what's bad, just like the other Star Wars game. Huh, cool. Yeah, I'm assuming this is all based off of Phantom Menace. I'm just going to make that educated guess right there. So let's put those over there. Good old Darth Maul. I have no idea what any of this is. There's almost no text on this card. All the text that's on it is flavor text. <laughs> and it's uh, there's like a little die with the number. There's set number down here. These cards look identical. They're literally the same thing. Just one's good and one's bad. Huh. The good old Darth Maul flying in. Oh, I'm like battle droids. Cool. And this Viceroy dude. Yeah, crazy. Huh. Yeah, this is the same thing as the other one too. It's a bunch of the uh, the location cards. I'm assuming that's what these are, are all different. Yeah, it's basically just a chunk of identical cards. So it wasn't even, it's not even like worth buying multiples of these unless you're like looking for multiple of this guy. Then again, I don't even know how the game is played. Maybe you start it with him in play. I have no idea. But uh, this look like these look like actual little starter decks instead of just like 60 random cards and, uh, you know, good luck. So these actually, yeah, they look like legitimate decks. I'll just put those over here. We'll open one more. I, I, I'm... I'm going to say that, yeah, the, they're all the same. In which case, I'll just put this box back into the display, and then I'll just keep this display for my little personal sealed collection I got. Which isn't a whole lot of sealed stuff, because I, I like to open my cards that I get. But, uh, again, here we go with the 15 points, whatever. Must have been some, like, online promotion thing back in the day. Back in, like, what, 1999? Yeah, interesting. All right, let's put that back there. So the rule book, and yeah, it's the same Obi Wan. Yeah, it's yeah, it's literally the same stuff. I'm just gonna make an educated guess. Yeah, yeah, same stuff. Go ahead and just sit through this real quick. Yeah. Oh, either way, ten bucks. Can't. You know, you, you can't lose with that. <laughs> Plus, I'll just kind of have a little piece of history here. And just uh, keep that to myself. I'll keep that out. What's these weird little tabs? You know what? I'll have this middle one. I'll have that middle one be Darth Maul. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, a little shorter video than expected. But, uh, yeah, I thought this would be cool to, like, get into this game. I, I'd never really studied games that are really simplistic, meant for, you know, a younger audience, like basically kids. So, me being who I am, loving card games and wanting to learn all of them, I figured, you know, I'd dip my toes into this. And, uh, yeah, expect more content for this. I don't know how much of it I'll get. I, I really wanted to do the Star Wars TCG, but, get Maul's face in there a little bit better. But that game is, like, unaffordable for me. Now, I unfortunately missed the boat on that one for sealed product. All booster boxes are, like, five to 800 bucks. Yeah, not gonna, not gonna happen. There's also another TCG I have my eyes on. It's, like, Jedi Knights. And it's, like, really, really bad CGI artwork from what I saw. And the boxes are, like, a 3D wireframe on one half and then the actual face on the other. I might get a couple boxes of those. Maybe, like, one box of each set. Because they're around like a hundred bucks each, and there's like five or six sets I saw on eBay. I don't know, but for now, we'll stick with this. I don't want to flood my channel with too much Star Wars. I'm, I plan on doing more Star Trek, and uh, I have a lot of Dark Age Feudal Lord stuff coming in the mail. I have more Wars stuff too. I want to do a bunch of updated deck lists for that. But uh, hopefully, you guys like seeing this. Uh, again, it's more dead TCG stuff, so it's dead tcg stuff that is not unobtainable <laughs> so i like doing openings on my channels anyway along with deck text and stuff but uh yeah feel free to like comment subscribe i like seeing the channel grow and it, it is growing more than what i thought it would not that what i'm at like 90 plus subscribers um i think that's i think that's awesome i have like people on you know social media thanking me for what i'm doing which is great uh it makes me want to continue doing this more and I have a lot of bulk for stuff, and I particularly don't want to be keeping bulk around. All of this stuff, though I plan on keeping this at least. 
But once I get past 100 subscribers and I maintain that, I'll start doing giveaways and stuff. And I'll, I'll probably do them through like Instagram or Facebook. I don't want to do them here, especially with all the scamming that's going on recently with the other people that I follow. But uh, yeah, thank you all for your time. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I guess share is the new one you have to say now or whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time.